guys so today I'm gonna share with you how I improved my grade in my microbiology class and this is what I did for my other classes too because I was struggling for a minute you know like I hadn't gone to this school for a while and then I decided to go back and I was just nervous and just you know how nursing school is like you just want to get it you just want to get it and I wasn't getting it so until I did this what I'm about to show you guys I got better results so this is the book we're using in this class I'm sharing with you my microbiology uh, experience here this is uh, the book we're using and I'm gonna show you uh, my stash here how I study uh, for my exams okay so um, I'm not gonna be showing you everything obviously but that's the grade I am at in this class and I would like it to be better but you know it's it's tough guys it's a science class so be kind to yourself if you're not here yet or you know yay to whoever is here and better uh, yay to you but if you're not here yet it's okay guys it took me a while to get here um, I'm just gonna show you how I studied to get here now in my class and uh, to be honest with you I hardly touch my book and I know a lot of people do I do for my other classes I should show you um, the books for my human physiology that's a different story I do do like notes like this these help me a lot like I do make notes um, show you guys like I make notes like that for you know if I don't understand something or I feel like it's important or to remind myself I'll make little notes like that this is for my human physiology class I feel like it's so different uh, from my um, my microbiology class for some reason and so I study with the human physiology class I literally listen to the lecture and then I come to the book and read it and make little reminders like this and go through my notes so you know like this I made this because I have to write it in my own way so I can understand it in my own way that way it sticks better in your head if you're trying to understand it in your own way sometimes you try memorizing Memorizing does work for me too. Like literally memorize a, a PowerPoint. It works. I know it sounds crazy, but it works. So for this class, obviously, I, I, like I told you, I do read the book, in the, but I do everything else like the other classes. So not that different. But for this book right here, for my microbiology class, it's so hard for me to understand this particular book. For some reason i just don't like it and i'm not saying don't read the book you read the book if if you, you know especially the only time i come to the book is when i uh don't understand a word or i want i just want to gain more understanding of something um so that's obviously different from how i i read this with my human physiology, I read it, like literally read it and go through it and make notes through the book. But for my uh, microbiology class, only when I don't understand what the teacher is saying, I will come to it so that, you know, I see what the book, how the book is doing it. And the other thing I do, guys, is I literally go on Google, like Google, a Wikipedia, <laughs> however you just want to understand something because once you get it that's what i've noticed in these classes once i get it i'm good like once i get uh whatever the the section of, of the class we're at once i understand it it puts me in a better way better position okay so enough of that i am going to show you to how um how 
I simplify my notes in this class. So she has like Zoom meetings because right now we are all doing Zoom University. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, she has Zoom meetings and then she has... Um, she, 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 she simplifies the sections or the, the chapters in, in the Zoom meetings a lot and I love that I love that so what I do is I make diagrams see that's how I understand them like literally make I literally make a diagram like this is a whole chapter like this this two papers right here this is a whole chapter on on this subject can you believe it I know it's pretty awesome so you just go through it like the uh, this is the endospore formers you know vegetative still it's actively met met metabolizing you know in a vegetative still and then the endospore formers how they survive you know and the two types of uh, uh, endospore formers here you see and I write okay it's gram positive bacilli and it's aerobic Clostridium is uh, gram positive uh, bacilli, it's anaerobic. And then I go through just like that. See, I'm making a diagram going down in the cell wall. Uh, what kinds are there for cell walls? We have the gram positive, gram negative, mycolic acid, and there's one without a cell wall. You just break it down, break it down. And then the cocci for the gram positive bacilli from gram positive, all that. You just write it and just break it down like this um, this is a cycle of uh, an endospore like you know this is what it causes tetany botulinum difficile and then it's harsh environments what they do and then how it sporulates and then back to germination where it is actively met metabolizing so this really helps me a lot you know same here the chlorostridium just a continuation of what i was talking about what it does you see the botulinum difficile and then i write down like you know the ach when it's released what it does and then it causes par flaccid para paralysis so just uh condensing the chapters like believe it or not this is all protein synthesis right here on one page pretty amazing isn't it so just write it in the way you understand anyway so I make diagrams like this these help me a lot now when I am done with this so I make this while I'm listening to the lecture okay I do print out the PowerPoints but it I do print them out if I don't understand something so I can go to them and just look at it it's probably way too small but I print these out and the other thing I do that I find really helpful don't ignore your study guides like just make sure you look through these these help a lot and she puts this like at every um, at the end of every um, uh, at the end of every chapter she will put like a, a, a study guide like this so what I do with this I literally do my flashcards I know I have more than that somewhere so I literally write whatever she's putting on there is probably not the same as this um, and on the on the flip side I literally answer it the way I would understand it so if you're a book reader you don't understand something go to the book read it read it because the book might explain it in a way you understand if you don't get it from there guys I go to Google like I Google it and sometimes I even go to YouTube and look at the animated version of that topic there is a lot of them out there and there's a lot of um, 
Yes, animated ones really help. They help me anyway. So I go to YouTube and if and then I make my diagrams literally. I make these diagrams here. Uh, these help me a lot. And then after I do that, now I'm retaining all that knowledge in different forms. I will go to the study guide and then I'll make my flashcards. So my flashcards, uh, what I do is I'll write a question like, you know, the question that's on the um, study guide. I'll write it here and then I will literally explain it in the back the way I understood it. Now, you have to make sure you understand it the right way because you have to go back. You can go back and check if it's correct in here, if it's correct on the graphs because that's from the lectures. That's from the lectures that she does. So all the information should be on there. Or sometimes Wikipedia helps. And now it's probably not a good advice. Google helps a lot, guys. It does. And YouTube. YouTube it. That way you are like you are teaching your mind that thing over and over and so it's understanding it and it's staying in your mind and i find that helpful so all i do after i make the flashcards like this and i make a lot of them there's like a lot of them <laughs> and i don't mind doing it because once you are into the mode like when i get in the mode I can write 200 of this without even realizing that I wrote 200 of this because I'm like in the mode, like I'm getting it. I literally sit my son down or my husband and explain everything without looking at the stuff. So I give them like a diagram, my diagram, I will give it to them and then I'll explain it. I'll start explaining it while they're looking at it so if I'm wrong they'll tell me no that wasn't there uh, if I'm right they'll tell me oh yeah and trust me that has helped me a lot like the talk back or teach back or um, you you teaching somebody what you read and learned and taught your mind it sticks in your head better it really does it's helped me a lot because after that after I go to write an exam and I'm looking at the exam it's the, the, it's so easy like it's so much easier to remember stuff because you can decipher and and when I'm writing an exam what I do is and what I recommend is look at the question look at the question first before you look at the multiple choice because these science classes all of them the exams come with multiple choices and for my microbiology class at the end of the exam she will ask like a for you to write like a question which is worth like four points and i never like those but i do well in them anyways so if you if, and she won't tell you what she's gonna put on there like of course like you have to read everything um so yeah that's what i do i look at the question first before i look at the multiple choice and try to figure out what the answer is before i look at the multiple choice because when you do that you eliminate confusion because all those multiple choices are doing is trying to confuse you like they literally just try to confuse you and i don't like that <laughs> So what I do is literally look at the question, try to figure out the answer, and then look at the multiple choice because it will be easier for me to pick out the answer uh, when I already have discovered in my mind what the answer should be. It's so much easier. So yeah, guys, that's how I improve my grades. And um, I find this works for me. I hope it can work for you. I know sometimes we are not all A students and that's fine i just want you to know that you can if you commit to a certain way now you don't have to do it exactly the way i do it you have to have a routine i would encourage you to get a routine get a routine down packed what i do is i i literally get up um because i'm in school i do get up at four in the morning uh and i take a bath <laughs> I take a bath or sometimes 
I just read the word and, and then take a bath. But I take a bath and then study. Study a little bit, my husband goes to work, and then my kids, I have to get my kids up. So it's like, I know, repetitive every morning, but get in a routine. Maybe you might get in a routine of getting up and going to exercise and then start studying, but set a time, stick to it throughout the semester, make a routine. It will help you a lot. It's helped me tremendously. So yeah, I thought I'd share that, guys. So no, we are not exactly at a, an A, but we might get there. You see, we, we, we you know, we are, we are, we are not doing so bad, guys. Um, we might get to an A. We might get to an A if we continue doing like this. Like, legit. I was at, uh, I got, uh, for my first exam, I got a 52%. I just about fell over like what what is going on and I figured out you know what this can't go on this is a nursing school uh, they're gonna kick me out they have no mercy so I just stepped into gear I got into a routine and I got the studying thing down pat because the more information I, I read about something I retain it and I retain it good and the important thing for me is make sure you find somebody to teach uh, teach yourself in the mirror or put your vases in your living room and tell them what you learned uh, record yourself and then watch yourself just that repeat repeat and make sure you put the answers in your own word way how you how you understood them so yeah we are not doing that so we are right now uh, it looks like I am at um, Eighty-nine point one eight percent. So it's possible we might get to a ninety, maybe a ninety-two if we do well on the next exam. I'm, I'm hoping I do well. I have three more weeks to go in this class, and so I'm looking forward to finishing strong. And I hope I finish strong. Okay, guys, I hope uh, this helps somebody out there. Nursing school is hard. Don't be hard on yourself. Give yourself grace and give yourself time. Get in a routine. That's so important. Get in a routine because that, that will help you a lot. It's helped me a lot. Okay, guys? Thanks for joining me. All right, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and comment. Comment. Let's help each other. Comment in the comments below. All right.